Hello, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International. And we're gonna kill some wolves. Kill more wolves. Yeah. Good stuff. I like killing wolves. Of course, I wouldn't have to kill them if they wouldn't attack me, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you know what, let's go this way. Let's head northwest. Ooh, a mage's hat. Yeah, I don't think I really care about a mage's hat, to be quite honest. I think I already have something better than a black cowl, so... Yep. Yeah. Empires parade down city streets while refugees walk barefoot through the snow. And so I sue for peace, to stop short war and ease their suffering. My father will choose peace. Will he now? You sound sure of yourself. You can never know another, even your father. Hmm. Don't take it the wrong way, okay? Is he wearing an earring? Wow. Okay. Because I never noticed that before. This crisis would not end were I gone. The Senate hates the very fact that House Solidor exists. By necessity, we must find reason to silence them. Necessity? Ah, yes. Necessity. Does that word free you, I wonder? You show no hesitation to solve matters with blood. The sword of House Solidor cannot be left to rust in doubt. It was you, Excellency, who tempered that sword. Is this your idea of vengeance? It is my idea of necessity. Mm. If we not act now, it is not only our future you imperil. So, you would dirty your hands to keep his clean. Who's he talking about, Larsa? My hands are stained with blood. I see little reason to stay them now. Mm. So they are. And so how solid all lives on. Okay. I guess Vayne is starting to show his true colors, like he's really bad. In the beginning he was sort of sensible, but now he's really a bad guy, I guess. Something like that. We want that. Skull Knights, huh? not really gonna ex explore this place in that much detail until I get a map and I think we'll get a map if we head up this way actually so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that Yes, this is Mount Promises. Cool. 
Got a save crystal here, might as well touch it. Uh, cartographer, yep. Definitely want to talk to this guy. Yeah, let's buy a map. Good stuff. Yep. Okay then, let's see what they have here. Okay, that's a chocobo guy. Who's this guy? Yeah, yeah, elementals. There's elementals everywhere. Alright, we can buy some weapons here that frankly don't look all that great. I will buy a glacial staff. Because that will power up ice elemental attacks. And, our okay, I already have a storm staff. Hmm. Okay. Diamond shield. Eh. No. Mage's hat, mage's habit. Yeah, I, was, I don't need any of this stuff. Stuff I have is better. Uh, let's check out this guy. What does this guy have? Alright, cool. We can buy some accessories here. Actually, I might as well buy a couple more of these. It's not like I'm going to run out of gill. Okay, I'll buy a couple of these. Why not? Blazer gloves. Eh, sure. Mmm. I'll well get three of everything or something like that. Nah, I don't need three of those. Smelling salts, blah blah blah. Soul Eater, okay. Cool. Consume consume HP to deal damage to one foe. So yeah, that's uh basically powers up your attack. Alright, cool. We can buy some new spells here. Karaga, that's definitely gonna be useful. Berserk. I don't have a red mage, so I can't use dark rub, but I'll get it anyways, just for whatever's sake. Alright. Alright, let's start exploring this area, shall we? Whoa. Yeah, I don't care about talking to any of these people. Whatever. Bunch of refugees, I guess. Hmm. Just wanted to make sure there were no chests I was missing. Okay. Do do do. What do you have to say? Anastasius, huh? Anastasis or something like that. Hmm. All right. Cool. Let's go there. Yeah, if I actually stopped to talk to all these NPCs, this LP would, like, never end. <laughs> it was one thing if it was an RPG with, like, uh, a limited amount of NPCs, then I would just, you know, I would talk to more of them, but as it is, I just want to get on with the story. Oh, okay.
Um, what the hell is this guy? What's wrong with this guy? Looks like he's dead. Is he sleeping? No, my child. Whoa! I do not sleep. I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. Two parts of a whole. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Ashelia... Lay down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the Dawn Shard? Your dream of a kingdom restored is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her I accession to, to the... This is something you might reconsider. Huh? Oh, who the hell is this guy? My little emperor waiting. You called and I have come. <sighs> this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus, I came to Lars's assistance. Okay then. I'll seed Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. Uh. I see it is true after all. Uh, stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. Uh. In Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria, Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelisse in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is a bonus. Grand Kiltius, was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the Resistance would stop cold, and Rosario's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the four winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Gramis is no more. His life was taken. Oh, father. When did this happen? Well, I guess they're gonna show a cutscene of how it happened then. What possible cause could we have to lay hand on our emperor? A deception and outrage! The Senate will not stand for this! A viper amongst our senators? This chairman Gregoroff as its head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A viper with many tails. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the serpent coiled here before me! Trace, you speak too freely. Zargabath! Do not tell me you join in this mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. <laughs> the one sweet house Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. 
Jane Solidor! As Judge Magister and upholder of the law, I hereby place you under arrest. 